Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 2 Anniversary Edition. So last time we entered the Colosseum. I mean, we kinda got captured, actually we did get captured by that damn Emperor, that's right. So this time we have to escape because we're trapped in here. So the Colosseum is not a very tough dungeon, at least nothing. Nothing compared to the previous place called the, what was it, the Dice Cavern? That place was annoying. So there's a chest over here which contains an antidote. And here are some new enemies, the dual, I believe they're called dual deads. We've already fought the dual heads. Actually, the those guys are new too, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, what are they, hmm. I'm gonna get a Scorch because I'm not sure what the hell the, what the guys in the front are weak to. But I'll, I'll see, I'll take a look. Yeah, so those dual deads, man. They, um, they are improved versions of the dual heads, obviously. But they are not difficult still. They're not. Look at that. He went down, he's got like a couple hundred HP, something like that. Not too challenging. Scourge, I, I want to see how much this does. Okay, that did not do anything to anyone. Um, let's get a, let's see. How about a Thunder? Let's try Thunder. To me, that feels like it would be effective. Kill that dual dead, so okay, there we go. And then we just have the Stalagmites in the front, but that one went down too. So it's not a tough encounter at all. Not at all. It is fine. Alright, Thunder did not do any better, but the dual heads are gone. That is nice. Stalagmite, he's still alive, okay. I thought he would be dead by those, uh, that Scourge and that Blizzard, you know. Or, well, no, it was Thunder, sorry. Or wait, was it? How the hell did I forget already? I don't know. Oh well. So we are all done here with this, and yeah, that was for an antidote. Seriously. A freaking antidote. Anyways, let's get out of here. So, don't enter that door. There are a lot of doors in here that are, they are, um, what should I call? Well, they're traps. You don't want to do that. So, let's see. Um, I need to, shoot, go to the right side. And then, once we're in here, uh, damn it, damn it. Let's see if I can remember this. Oh, damn it. The, wait a minute. I'm trying to think here. I'm seriously trying to think here. Because I'm supposed to... It's... Is it this one? Oh man, I don't remember. Hold on, let, let me bring up this freaking map. It's, it's so crazy, it seriously is. I don't have to return to the fork, uh-huh. And then... Oh shoot. Is it this one? Uh... No, it's not. Oh, I need to... Oh, cut. Okay, we're out of that room and Gordon actually went down. Pretty tough, I'm telling you, man. Crazy, crazy traps. Crazy trap rooms in this game. You do not want to enter those. See, the walkthrough... Oh my god. I thought it was the west, but apparently it's gotta be the east then? I really do not remember. Alright, let's heal everybody once. And it's time to use an ether because I am running very low. Ether. Let's use two, just to be safe here. And, uh, yeah, let's use magic. Maria. Got a cure. Let's see. You need a heal, you need a heal, and... You do. Alright, there we go. I guess it's the easternmost. This one. It's gotta be. Yes, it is. It's the easternmost. For some reason, I thought it was the westernmost. So there's an ether, an elixir, and a cottage. All done here. Let's get out. Now, let's continue. Now, let me just go ahead and switch back to my other thing. Yeah, so, um... Now we have to go up north, and basically go northeast. Towards this door. The encounter rate seems fairly low compared to the other place, the Dice Cavern. So that is, that is of course, a very nice thing. But anyways, now it's time for, uh... We're in B1 now. I'm bringing up the map, of course, like I always do. Okay, oh damn it, encounter. Oh, new enemies, wait, are they? Oh shoot. I'm just gonna keep this. But, these are weak to, um, ice, I believe. See, the thing is, I'm getting so confused because I'm I'm playing other games and shoot. I seriously forget which enemies I've already seen and which ones I haven't, but I'll, I'll just keep this battle in. But I really don't remember. I really do not remember if I've already fought these or not. Okay, so they have a pretty decent amount of HP, but it's not too difficult. They do leech, though. Their physical attacks, they leech HP every time. Or MP. Sorry. Yeah, it's MP. They, they attack physically, they do very low damage, but then they also steal your MP. 202, wow, Maria. Good job. 
a lot stronger than I thought. Okay, got some nice stat upgrades. I have, okay, let me go ahead and open up the best cherry. Because I have to see if... Okay, a lot of new ones here. Stalagmite, I knew that was a new enemy. Alright, weakness none. Um, Ogre Chief, I encountered that in the previous video. Dual Deads, I encountered that just now. Weakness is fire, I see. And let's see. Chimera, that was a long time ago. Who's next? Parasite, yeah, okay, he, he was a new enemy, okay. Weakness Ice, I knew that. And... Lamaya Queen. That was the boss, her mini-boss. I like to treat it as a mini-boss. And the Behemoth, the other mini-boss, or boss, whatever. There we go, I believe that's it. Yes, it is. Okay, so, let's continue now. I'm pretty sure um, we'll encounter some more very soon. Yep, there we go. Okay, I took care of that. Now let's continue by heading downwards. Hilda was actually right there. I'm pretty sure you saw her. Okay, another battle down. The battles are pretty simple in here. Much simpler than the, the Dice Cavern. A couple magicians in that battle and they did a pretty decent amount of damage to me because I got ambushed actually. Let's got a cure now. Use it on everybody and then use an additional one on no one actually. See, I'm not taking too much damage. I'm really not. So, Hilda's cell is actually... oh my god. More magicians and, well, another ambush, actually. Princess Hilda, hold on, we'll get you out of there. And Gordon runs up there. Hilda, are you alright? Gordon, I never thought to see you here. Gordon, take the princess and go. We'll draw the guard's attention while you escape. Thank you, Farion. Be careful. Alright, let's go. She should be in front of you, by the way. Just so you're looking out for her every single time. So, Farion mentions that we're going to distract the guards. But the truth is, you're not going to do that. All you have to do is run out the same way that they're going to. Alright, fairly tough battle. Four Chimeras, actually. And I did heal um, in between the, you know, during the cut. Whoa, that's a new enemy. That is a new enemy. See, I was not talking there for a few seconds because I thought it was not going to be... Oh, shoot. This guy, though. Oh, my God. Um, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Oh, God, thank God. Those things are freaking crazy. They seriously are. You'll see why. I have a very good... I have a perfectly good explanation and a perfectly good reason as to why I'm so afraid of them. 1,000 damage. Nice. So, let me go over that. Let me go to the bestiary, let me come down here, and let me go to... Where is it? Spectre. These guys have a move that can petrify you. And the chance of them hitting you with petrify is extremely high. They can hit the entire party in one attack, and if you all get petrified, you lose. So, upon seeing that, I'm gonna do this. Just gotta save. Just in case more garbage happens. Alright, we're very close to the staircase now. And we're gonna fight more of these, you know? I'll just show one more. Why not, right? Alright, let's see. If they stone me, then I'm gonna get screwed. But let's see, no, they, they, they did not use Petrify. But they do hit hard. They still do hit hard. Very hard, I must say. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. Alright. Oh shoot, are you kidding me? I should have attacked with Fairy on them. Damn it. Oh, well, that's fine. I can get him. I'm pretty sure they're not going to petrify me. Alright, there's one down, one more. Yeah, okay, they, they did not use the move. They did not use it. That is very relieving. But they do a ton of damage, though. They have high strength. They seriously do. Look at that. Alright, nice stat upgrades. Yes, thank you. I could always use that, of course. So, let's go to Magic and Maria and... No, 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 not Fire. Let's get Cure. One and... You're gonna take like three. There we go. Alright, we're cl No, don't go that way. Up. We are in the Colosseum, first floor. All we have to do is get out of here. Well, we will notice the Emperor is gone. Damn. Freaking Emperor, he just left. Well, I mean, Gordon and Hilda are gone, so we have to do the same. Just run. Now, there's a problem. The run back, you don't have a chocobo. So now we do have to traverse the desert. This is why it's recommended to traverse the desert when you're going in here using the chocobo. 
That way you don't have to fight enemies in both trips. Our goal is in fact to choke up a forest once again. We have to go there because we need transportation. We really do. So let's go. Now here we're going to encounter some new enemies. So what I'm going to do is actually save again. The chance of encountering new enemies is fairly high. And we're going to encounter some pretty tough ones. Those manta rays that we see? Nope, no, no, not those. Those are not too difficult. How much time are we at? Let me see. It says 18 minutes, but that's of course, you know, we have cuts and stuff. So let's see, I'm not doing a lot of damage to these guys. That's not good. I need to do better. Oh, okay, there's one kill. I guess, uh, one kill per turn. Ferion deals the majority of the damage. But I think I'll be getting some better stuff fairly soon, better equipment. I'm not too sure on that, but I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I could really use some new equipment, you know, especially Guy. His axes, I have not had a better axe for him in a long, long time. I really haven't. 13 for the gill, and yeah, okay. All done. Let's continue. Walking upwards to the Chocobo Forest. Okay, I believe those guys are actually weak to Blizzard because I just used a Blizzard and it did a lot of damage. Let me see. Um, yeah, they are. Weakness, Ice, and Poison. So I was right. I was right. Alright. Let's go. We are close to the Chocobo Forest. Very close. Actually, where the hell is it? Hold on. Hold on. I need to look at something. Yeah, so just a bit more up north, although I'm going to have to go to the right a bit because the mountains are going to block me out. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use an Ether. I keep encountering the same enemies. I want to fight those rays, the Manta rays, but I'm just not encountering them. I'm not. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end the recording, but before that, I will tell you what I will do. So, our goal is actually to go all the way back to Altair once again. We have to track all the way over there. It's gonna be crazy. So, the way to do that is get the Chocobo from where the hell is it? Wait, dude. Right here. And then basically right all the way like this, through here, up there. Traverse like that, go down. And go that way. Until we eventually get to Altair. It's a long road, but the Chocobo of course helps because it's no encounters. But what I'm going to do... Yeah, so I'm going to meet you there in the beginning of the next episode, back in Altair. But what I'm going to do is actually grind up a lot off screen because I'm falling behind in stats. I was struggling with the Dice Cavern a lot, so it shows. It really shows that I need to do some... Okay, the reason why I'm not ending the part just yet is because I want to encounter those freaking enemies. I really do. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end the recording here because I can't encounter those enemies. So next time, I will be in Altair with some better stats. Yeah, alright, so thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.